So in this lesson, we're going to look at the three empires of Mesoamerica, um, the Aztecs, the Mayas, and the Incas. We're going to start with the Maya. So um, this is Mesoamerica, so it's central, it's Mexico, central, and the Incas, of course, are on the uh, west coast of South America. Um, during the, the time of the Middle Ages, these tremendous empires were existing. Um, and were not discovered, quote unquote, until after Columbus came in uh, 1492 and of course um, set off the age of exploration, which is where you guys start off next year. Um, but these three civilizations had been there already. So let's take a look with our first civilization, the Maya. Um, so in this lesson, there's gonna be three assignment pages uh, for each civilization. And there's gonna be embedded reading, if you prefer to read, or I will narrate as well. But um, I'm just gonna narrate the introduction to save you the trouble. In the, the Maya civilization was lasted 3,500 um, years from about 2000 BCE to 1500 CE, includes lands located in present day Southern Mexico and large portion of, of Central America. V visitors can still see the ruins of some amazing stone cities built by the Maya. The ruins of the ancient city of T Tikal, shown here, lie deep in the jungles of present-day Guatemala. Picture yourself standing at the heart of the city in the year 750 CE. You are in a large open plaza surrounded by eight soaring temple pyramids. On the ground, as far as you can see, are brightly colored structures on raised platforms. Nearby, in the center of the city, you can see large palaces made of limestone blocks that serve as the home of the ruler, priests, and nobles. Farther out, there are stone houses of the merchants and artisans whom you might see making colorful murals or statues or different Maya gods. At the very edge of the city are thousands of small thatched roof house mounds where the peasants live. The peasants might be farming or weaving or may even be building elaborate temples. You might notice that people from different classes perform specific duties, but all contributed to the ancient Maya society. Tikal was only one of more than 40 Maya cities. How did the Maya create such great cities in such an advanced civilization? In this lesson, we're going to trace the development of Maya civilization and some of the most important achievements. You will also take a closer look at the several aspects of Maya culture, including class structure, family life, religious beliefs and practices, and agricultural techniques. And here is a picture of the structure. So if any of you guys have actually been to Mexico or Guatemala on vacation, you might have visited some of these ruins. 